Hi, Innisville. It is Wednesday, June the 10th, and June is Pride Month. And uh, I was very happy today to um, do the first flag rising that we've done in a very long time. Uh, and we physically distanced and we had our masks, but we rose the pride flag at the town hall uh, this morning. And with me today uh, to talk about Innisfil Pride is Amanda and Jake. Welcome. And uh, tell me a little bit about how what um, how the COVID world has uh, affected uh, Pride events this month. Well, thank you for having us, uh, Marilyn Dolan. This month, uh, being Pride Month for uh, globally Pride Month, uh, it's it's hard for everybody around with COVID. It's hard for the so social physical distancing. Uh, it's taken a very large impact on people not being able to be out to express themselves. But we are working hard with our platforms uh, right now. The odd thing for Pride, sorry about the wind, guys. It's just picked up here. We're using our platforms right now for small virtual events, uh, a few live streaming drag shows that we have, uh, people we have in touch with, the Voice of Virtue. Uh, she puts on fabulous shows that we're starting to stream onto our website and to our Facebook page. Hopefully this week we can get those up. Uh, but most of our platform right now is being used for the Black Lives Matter movement and protests. Uh, we're, we're making sure that they have our full support and full platform available to them. Great. And can you tell me, Amanda, it was a little, almost a year ago now that you had the, the big festival on the third line um, and any plans, I guess not this year, but uh, <laughs> perhaps next year to, uh, to resume some of those activities. Yeah, last year, end of July, we had our first festival. Um, it went off very well. We had a lot of community support, even with people that couldn't attend. Um, we would have loved to be able to do something similar this summer. However, with COVID-19, um, we're pivoting and you know trying to do what we can virtually, but as Jake said, try and um, throw all of the resources we can towards the Black Lives Matter movement because they are in need. And, um, you know, LGBTQ plus and Black Lives Matter are not two separate communities. We're intertwined and it matters to our community as well. Um, aside from, you know, this summer, we are looking forward to next summer and the years after that. Uh, large part of what we're going to be doing next year depends on when we can stop the social distancing and um, be able to interact face to face and be able to have meetings uh, with potential sponsors and things like that. So we're doing what we can, um, but we can't really say what's going to happen because we don't know how long this will be going on for. But we are thinking positively and hoping things can come together sooner rather than later. Thank you. Thank you both for being here today. I know it's hard, but I know that it, we have to keep it up. It's it's. Uh, if, if whatever we do now will affect how soon life gets back to quote unquote normal. Uh, and I do uh, appreciate the fact that Innisfil Pride is supporting Black Lives Matter. And uh, for those of you who might not know, there is a peaceful rally being uh, organized for this Saturday between one and three. And it's at the Innisfil Rec Center in the South parking lot because I think the north parking lot's under construction or is going to be under construction. So um, everybody's welcome, but if you are coming, please remember the physical distancing, uh, wear a mask, and, uh, and let's all uh, support each other, but apart. So thank Absolutely. you, Phil. Thank you guys. very much for having us. Thank you, thank and you. Uh, we'll talk soon, and Innisville, we'll talk tomorrow. Take care.